My name is Peter Young. I'm the owner and managing director of Birdwood Nursery Fruit Trees, Boombai, Queensland, Australia. Myrtle rust at this point is only attacking Myrtaceae species. Australia has a lot of native Myrtaceae species. It's just a good point to note that there's many, many Australian plants to this point are not affected by myrtle rust. So um, some nurseries have stopped selling Australian native plants, which is just silly because uh, there are many hundreds of, of na Australian native plant species that are not affected by myrtle rust. There is a, a very solid myrtle rust plan, which we follow explicitly in, in this nursery. Basically, it's preventing infection by inspecting any, any plants coming into the nursery thoroughly. Also, uh, inspecting the plants that we're growing in the nursery that are susceptible. I guess what we're looking for is anything abnormal, um, so w w which is not normal looking new growth. So any abnormality is a, is a, uh, a trigger for a closer inspection. Then we uh, look on top of the leaf and mostly underneath the leaf. Myrtle rust manifests itself more underneath the leaf than on top. Myrtle rust attacks the new growth on a plant and it uh, can actually infect the new growth so badly that it kills the new growth or it disfigures it terribly. This is why nurseries are so susceptible, um, I, I guess, because young plants have a lot of new growth and uh, in a nursery situation it can, it can be quite a major problem. The myrtle rust plan demands that we use registered chemicals on a regular spray program as a preventative and or curative. We have yet to find it in any nursery plants and I guess the reason there is that uh, because of our, of our spray program any movement of plants into the nursery is really important that it's uh, monitored and not just by ad hoc means, it's by um, sticking to the myrtle rust management plan which sets out certain criteria and they're not all that onerous really it's quite simple when uh, people come into the nursery uh, we ask them have they been to an infected myrtle rust area uh, we check them out to make sure they've got clean clothing on uh, the most important thing are hats uh, we all tend to wash our clothes every day and change our clothes but it's quite common for hats to be uh, not washed for months so we have a very important uh, message going out to all our staff and visitors that their hats are either sterilised or washed.